making the list where we review, discuss, and reimagine popular movie lists objectively. We're your hosts, I'm Jerry. And I'm Brad. And on this episode, we'll be exploring number 24 from Sports Illustrated's The 50 Greatest Sports Movies of All Time. All right. And number 24 is Searching for Bobby Fischer, released in 1993, directed by Steven Zellian, starring Joe Montagna, Joan Allen, and Ben Kingsley. Young, sensitive Josh Waitzkin shows immense talent for chess. He is encouraged to compete by his father and pulled in different directions by his chess coach and a street hustler who teaches him speed chess. Josh must decide if he wants to become the kind of ruthless competitor the famous Bobby Fischer was, give up the game, or find some kind of balance that lets him be a normal kid. This is a really good movie. This movie is out standing this is an absolute hidden gem if you've never seen this movie this is one of the better movies of the 90s that no one talks about yeah this movie is just tremendous the cast in this movie is off the charts there are like oscar winners and oscar nominees like all over this movie mm -hmm. you've got you know joe Montaigne, who is one of the best character actors of his generation sir ben kingsley oscar winner Joan Allen, Oscar nominee. Lawrence Fishburne, I believe he's been nominated for an Oscar. I think he got nominated for What's Love Got to Do With It. Okay. Um, you've got um, Laura Linney in one of her first roles. Um, who else is in? Like, there's a bunch of other people that just show up to like that are like kids' fathers. Oh yeah, what was? Is it C. Thomas Riley? No, uh, no. Uh, what's his name? Um, I can't think of his name, but. Uh, they're like all over this movie, like that. All the parents are like, "Oh, I know him. I know him. Yeah, uh, yeah. I know her." It, like all over the place, and like Laura Linney, it's just, she's got this like little tiny role as like his teacher. It's just like it's a who's who of people, you know, in this movie. You so know? to say it was well acted is an understatement. Yeah, and the the way that they go about telling the story is really really great. So mm -hmm. I don't typically like voiceovers in movies mm, mm -hmm. but this one does have a voiceover and it's a really interesting it's voice because it's from the kid yeah who is also really good so the i can't remember the 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 child actor's name um but he really was only in this movie yeah. um he didn't go on to like have any kind of acting career but he's really good um he was chosen for the role because he actually knows how to play chess yes um and they do this really, really interesting thing where, you know, he's being trained like classical chess by Ben Kingsley's character, but at the same time, he's like in Washington Square in New York City learning speed chess with uh, Lawrence um, Fishburne's character, who's kind of this, you know, street hustler type. Um, they kind of allude to him possibly being... Homeless. Homeless and into drugs and stuff like that, but you really don't see it. No. Uh, but it's just, there's so many layers to this. And then when you get to the final, and I don't know anything about chess. I've never played chess, mm -mm. but I can follow this movie and I find it really, really compelling mm -hmm. just because it's, it really focuses on the competitive aspect of it. The fact that this kid is an outlier which I always find outliers really, really fascinating. Yeah, he's definitely gifted. Yeah, I mean, you you know, people gravitate towards, you know, um, Michael Jordan and Tiger Woods and Joe Montana and players like that because they're just a, they're they're noticeably better than everyone else who like. Let's face it, like, if you're a professional athlete, you're really, really damn good at what you do. There are only so, like, even, like, the worst quarterback in the NFL is still better than... Is still better than, like, billions of people on this planet <laughs> doing that thing. There are only, like, 32 jobs for starting quarterbacks. So you're still one of the 32 best players at this, but then you've got, like, those few that are just so damn good that you can't stop watching them yeah you know if you're a professional golfer there's a lot you know not just like touring professionals but guys that you know like do teaching at country clubs and stuff like that those are still exceptionally good golfers 
But then you get someone like Tiger Woods who is just so crazy good at it. So you gravitate towards people like that. And this kid has that. He is like... And he's a kid. He's like... like eight, he's eight years old. And he is doing like some just incredibly advanced stuff. He... He sees the board. Like, mm -hmm. he sees all the moves, like, in space. Like, they try to show it on film. <laughs> they try to show it on film where he's, like, seeing everything, like, in three dimensions. Mm -hmm. So he's seeing the X, Y, Z axis of all this stuff. And he'll spot it. Like, there's a there's this spot where, you know, he's trying to... He, he's just this, like, super sensitive kid. So, like, he doesn't have the killer instinct. Mm-hmm. He's really, really good at, at the game of chess, but he doesn't have the killer instinct. And he's up against this other kind of phenom kid. Yeah. It's almost, it's really like, it's it's Rocky Drago, but with little kid chess players. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you've got, you know, this kid who's very, very methodical and kind of cold and does have the killer instinct. And there's a spot when they're playing in this like championship Mm -hmm. Where Josh sees that the kid has made a mistake and he can't win. And he offers the kid his hand, which is to offer him a draw. Mm -hmm. So this is Josh's way of, you know, of kind of keeping the peace or whatever. And the kid, like, he doesn't see that he's lost yet. And he's like, you're, you know, thinking you're absolutely nuts. And then they start playing it out. And then you see it. You see the moment where the kid finally figures out oh i've lost that i've lost yeah and I, I, I was like and he sees it all of a sudden that he's lost and you see the look on his face and it's just it's it's just really really interesting and you don't have to know anything about chess like i said i don't know anything about it I, this movie's great yeah i've seen this movie i think about a half dozen times i remember the first time i saw it i was working at the video store when this movie came out um, I remember seeing it then, thought it was really great. I've always been fascinated by, you know, competition and people that are really, really good at doing stuff. I And I honestly, I really appreciated the family dynamic. Mm -hmm. um, his mom was very proud of him and she was the one that kind of took him to like the park to mm -hmm. play with the park guys and stuff. And she was really excited for him. But she also didn't want him to lose his childhood. Yeah, which is kind of starting to happen because his dad kind of starts to become a little league parent a little bit. Yeah, he starts getting to be soccer dad. Mm -hmm. And um, he, you know, is trying to drive him like, yeah. you know, you're going to lose. And he, like there's one scene where he just kind of goes off on him mm -hmm. about losing. And so it would, it's, but then it's good because his dad like comes around yeah, and he realizes what am I doing to my kid? Right. And he's like, okay, this is your decision. Yeah. You do, do what you want. We're proud of you either way. Yeah. And his dad kind of has an interesting perspective on competition because his dad is a, he's a sports writer. So mm -hmm. like one of the first scenes of the movie is he's in the, um, the press um, booth at um, Yankee stadium. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he, he sees great professional athletes like all the time yeah. and all of a sudden he's like, my son is gifted yeah. at this thing. And there's a, one of my favorite lines in any movie happens in this movie mm -hmm. and it's, he, they're like at like the, the science fair or whatever. And Laura Lenny, who's the teacher makes some kind of, kind of offhanded comment about the fact that josh hasn't been at school because he's doing the chess thing or whatever yeah she kind of makes she, demeans she, it. she kind of makes light of it or whatever and he's not having any of it and he's just basically like he just like completely like dresses her down and just basically like his i, I don't remember the exact line but he, his line is basically like my son is better at chess than you or i will ever be at anything in our entire lives you know, just recognizing how good his son is at this and kind of like telling her, yes, this is important. You may not think it's Im yeah. it's important, but at the end of the day, he's so good at this. Yeah. And just, you know, they, 
just he he kind of loses all decorum with this other adult and his wife is just like oh it's gonna happen it's gonna happen like she's seen him do stuff like this before yeah <laughs> and she knows it's gonna happen so it's kind of a, it's it's really really great scene it's interesting too because the dynamic between Joan Allen and Joe Montaigne is is a really flawed relationship mm -hmm. the reason why I think that is because when we first start this movie I thought they were divorced mm. I thought they weren't a, a together co mm. couple okay. but then you know you're like oh wait he they are together mm. and, you know so but um the thing that they really come together on is raising their children and it was good to see that and that she really, when she started to see changes in her son that she didn't mm -hmm. like, she really stood her ground yes. and was like, no, this is not how we're doing it. Yeah. And and she threatens him. Yeah, she does. Like, you know, she ma she totally mama bears him. It's great. It, and it's a great performance by Joan Allen. Yeah, it really is. Um, it, it's a little slow paced. But it's, it's, a, it's chess. A movie, I was just going to say, it's a movie <laughs> about chess. Yeah, but it, it holds your interest the whole time. Yeah, It's and, not something where you're like, oh, God, you know, but... It, and it, a lot of it is you've got to build it in an interesting way. You have to build up all of the characters around Josh mm -hmm. to understand, like, how Josh is going to kind of navigate in the world. So... He's got like all, you know, he's got this push and pull from all these people. My favorite character in this whole movie, outside of the mom, is Lawrence Fishburne's character. Oh, yeah. I think of all the people in this, he just absolutely cares for, for Josh in a yeah. way that, in a way that his dad doesn't, in a way that Ben Kingsley's character doesn't, mm -mm. is he's just, he's so pumped that this kid is good at this. And he just wants to support him in any way that he yeah, can. Yeah, he wants him to succeed. And he's so, like, there's a scene where, like, Ben Kingsley's character thinks that he's made a mistake when they're, they're like, watching it. And he's just like, he's like, no, he's got him. Because uh -huh. he's thinking from the speed chess angle. And Josh uses the classical stuff and the speed chess stuff. He uses them together in a very unique way, apparently, to throw off this super talented mm -hmm. kid that he he's playing against. And Lawrence Fishburne sees it, and he's just, like, so enthralled by what's happening. Everyone else around him is just, like, freaking out. And he's just like, yes, he's got it, he's got it, and he's so pumped. And it reminds me, like, I don't know if you guys have seen the, the series called The Queen's Gambit about the woman who's, like, an excellent chess She's player. also a chess prodigy, yeah. And, um... A lot of times they, they show her laying in bed and she has like the chessboard mm -hmm. above her head and she's like playing things out. It's kind of like mm -hmm. that where they kind of are already playing out the moves in their head. And I totally get that. You know, I'm, I'm a poker player, so mm -hmm. it's not that it, poker is a game of in uh, imperfect information, whereas chess is a game of perfect information. Mm -hmm. Like in chess, you see everything. So you can play a chess if you're really really good at it mm -hmm. like 12 you know 15 moves ahead you can't really do that with poker but i i know the the thing where it's just like okay it's this this and this and you're telling you're, you're breaking the story down and you're figuring out all the information and you're seeing it playing in your head like in different scenarios and stuff like that so the way that they portray that stuff with the chess mm -hmm. really resonates with me i totally get it um and the stuff where he, you know, like there's a scene where his coach wipes the board off, mm -hmm. which seems like, you know, kind of an aggressive dick move, but it's not because he's really what he's trying to do is play it without the pieces, mm -hmm. see it without the pieces. And he does that here. It's really, really cool. And he's, there's a moment where he mentally clears out the table and he knows that he's won. Because he sees all the moves ahead that the other kid doesn't yeah. see. It's really great. All right. So how do we score it? Um, I gave this an 84. 
Jerry gave it a 78, so the list score is 81. This is one of my favorite movies. This is a really, really great film. It should be in the top 20, I, for sure. Yes, I think it's it's actually pretty criminally low on the list. Yeah, the it'll probably be up higher on our list. Yeah. Um. Anyway, if you've seen this movie and you feel the same way or you want to just share your thoughts, please do so in the comments. If you haven't seen this, search it out. Um, in the past, like probably like year, two years, it's moved around different streaming services. Like I know it's been on Netflix. I think when we, you know, as of this recording, it's on Paramount Plus, which is mm -hmm. where we watched it. It's going to move around. If you find it on one of the streaming services that you use and you haven't seen it before, check it out. You will not be disappointed. Yeah, for sure. If you'd like to email us directly, please do so at readingthelist at gmail.com. And for now, I'm Jerry. I'm Brad. And we're Rating the List. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.